ES Audio. Hi, I'm Rochelle Travers, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, gamers, it's almost time. Starfield is nearly here. Now, let's get into it. Winter jabs are to be brought forward a month earlier in England due to the emergence of a new COVID variant. Anybody over 65, older adult care home residents and immunosuppressed people are to receive jabs against COVID and flu from the 11th of September, with the aim to have vaccinated as many eligible people as possible by the 31st of October. UK Health Security Agency says there is limited information available about the new variant BA 2.86, but it has a high number of mutations and has appeared in several countries. Although it's not currently classified as a variant of concern, NHS England bosses said it could be a very challenging winter if the variant increased the risk of infection. Meanwhile, a disease X vaccine could be ready within 100 days of a new threat emerging thanks to UK scientists. Scientists from the University of Oxford are examining how to adapt the vaccine it created for COVID-19 for an unknown disease commonly referred to as disease X which is a term used for a hypothetical, undetermined virus that could cause a future epidemic. They will also see how other jabs can be developed to prevent any other future threats. The announcement comes as the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations announced it was awarding Oxford scientists up to £63.6 million for the project. Now, it's almost time. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. Yes, fans will finally be able to play Starfield from tomorrow. It is going to be massive. I think it's going to be more complex than anything that Bethesda's ever done before. I think the players will have an unprecedented amount of freedom, you know, freedom to be whoever they want to be, freedom to do whatever they want to do, to be evil, to be good. That's Vicky Jessup, who writes about gaming for The Evening Standard. She's been explaining why this game is one of the most anticipated releases of the year. Ever since the game was announced in 2018, there's been a lot of excitement building for it. You know, this is the first new franchise that Bethesda has launched in 25 years. The last one was Skyrim, which of course is very iconic. And they've also gone out of their way to cultivate an air of mystery around this game. There's actually very few details floating around of what the plot is. Although many of the details remain under wraps until tomorrow, when those with Starfield Early Access can play the game ahead of the official launch on the 6th of September, it looks like it will be a game with countless possibilities. The game director has said that the player will be able to visit thousands of different planets. There should be that considerable freedom in the gameplay. And they've teased that we'll be able to be a pirate, be a mercenary, be a religious zealot if we want to. So yeah, very exciting. Starfield will be available to play exclusively across Xbox Series XS and PC. Be sure to listen to Tech and Science Daily tomorrow to hear Vicky Jessup's full review of the game. Next. Findings suggest that patients treated by female surgeons have better chances of effective recovery and are less likely to die. The study of over 1 million people published in the journal JAMA Surgery found patients treated by female surgeons have a lower likelihood of adverse outcomes at 90 days and a year following their surgical procedures. Researchers, including some from the University of Toronto in Canada, say the findings support differences in patient outcomes based on the sex of physicians. Another study, also published in the same journal, assessed patient outcomes after gallstone removal and also found female surgeons outperformed their male counterparts in the field on average. An artificial intelligence system has beaten humans at a physical sport for the first time. And the sport in question? Drone racing. The AI system called SWIFT, developed by researchers from the University of Zurich and Intel, won multiple races against three world-class drone racing champions. Although AI systems have achieved a number of victories over humans in a range of strategy-based games, this is the first known time it has defeated top-level competing humans in something of this nature. The new SWIFT drone demonstrated that it can react in real time to the data collected by an onboard camera, just like the one used by human racers in the sport. Let's go to the ads. Coming up, why next year's summer festivals might be a bit different, and Snapchat jumps on the AI-generated photo art trend. Why not hit rate and follow in the meantime? Welcome back. The Home Office is being urged to expand drug testing at festivals before summer 2024. 
A new report by the Home Affairs Committee says a dedicated licensing scheme for drug checking at festivals should be established before the next festival season, including the power to grant licenses to local authorities. Event organisers argue that allowing festival goers to test drugs for unsafe substances without fear of legal ramifications helps to reduce overdosing or even deaths. Microsoft says that it will unbundle Teams from its Office products and make it easier for rival products to work with its software. The announcement comes a month after the European Commission launched an investigation into Microsoft's tying of Office and Teams after a complaint by Salesforce-owned workspace messaging app Slack in 2020. Microsoft's preliminary concessions failed to address concerns. And finally... Remember earlier this year when many of your mates suddenly had profile photos of themselves as fairies or even superheroes on social media? Well, it was when apps such as Lenta AI were having a moment, and it seemed like everyone was transforming their pictures into things that look straight out of a comic book or even a piece of Renaissance art. Well, now it looks like the big social media apps are finally jumping on the trend, and Snapchat is the latest one with its featured dreams. Unfortunately, though, it is only currently available to Snapchatters in Australia and New Zealand, but they say there are plans to expand to more countries soon. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Leader Podcast from the Evening Standard. We'll be back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.